Welcome back. Did you happen to see that bright flash across the night sky last night? It happened at exactly 1016 p.m. and it was very likely an asteroid the size of a car passing by about 9,300 miles away. Well, lately people have been reporting other sightings as well in the sky over the last year. In fact, UFO sightings have been on the increase. CBS 12 reporter Andrew Lofholm is going to attempt to answer that question tonight. Our reporter Jay O'Brien was doing his nightly Facebook Live when it happened. Because, oh my gosh, what is that in the sky? Whoa. Okay. He was not alone. This Tesla in Miami captured it. All of a sudden, we see this huge flash of light through the sky. Out in Loxahatchee, too, on a home security system. Down here in Boca at the observatory at FAU, it's a reminder that space is active. We're just simply getting more aware of it. What we saw last night was tiny, tiny-ish rock coming out from itself. It's not the actual physical asteroid. Eric Vandernoot is FAU's Astronomy and Physics Lab coordinator. You saw how it kind of got heated up and then caused that big flash. Generally, that's because there's little cracks in the rock itself that as the uh, the heated air starts to work its way inside those cracks. It splits them open like a wedge and explodes them into pieces. And that's what people saw. So are we all alone? On my 26 years of work at the National UFO Reporting Center, I conclude that the planet Earth is being visited routinely by these things we call UFOs, presumably piloted by aliens. Peter Davenport runs the National UFO Reporting Center based out of eastern Washington state. This likely asteroid chunk was reported to his site, as was this February missile test over our area. While this site has reported an increase in reports in the last year, he's not worried about volume, just the unexplained ones. There are quite a number of those. Like how since November, he says, five pilots have reported seeing UFOs. Why is that significant? Well, pilots are... Uh... A cut above the average observer. If you get a report from a, an airliner crew about a UFO and they call it a UFO, that's uh, pretty significant in my book.